All right, so in this one, we're gonna be continuing along the theme of doing our marketing stuff. Um, as of now, our top marketing message bar should work just fine, and we should be able to dismiss it for a certain amount of time. And of course, that time would be based off of what we set in our settings uh, right here, right? So right now I have mine as three hours of an offset, but you could set it to however many hours or just seconds. It's probably better to at least have a certain amount of hours there versus seconds just because um frankly if i dismiss something and it came back in a few seconds i don't know if i'd be too thrilled myself but what we're going to do now is on our home page is add a little carousel slider here and if we jump into bootstrap into the javascript section and then click on um oops carousel not collapse we see an example of what we're going to be doing now luckily for us um Bootstrap has already one built in, so it's very easy to copy and to implement into our project. So we're gonna just scroll down here and I'm gonna copy this whole thing right here. And I'm gonna go over back into my base.html project. And right above this container, but below the block Jumbotron, I'm gonna add a new container here and do div class equals to container. And off that div. And we're going to paste this stuff in here. All right. And I'm going to just tab this in a little bit. Okay. So we save this and notice that we have images in here. And then I also have these dot, dot, dot. I don't want to get, I want to get rid of these dot or at least the bottom dot, dot, dot. And um, we will come back to this in just a second. So let's go into our project, do a refresh. We see that we have a broken image. Well, that's exactly what we want to see. But if I click on these little squares, uh, it will scroll back and forth. I'll discuss why they're squares in a little bit, but uh, I did a quick Google search for an image that's 1200 by 400. So just go to beach. That's gonna be the search I'll do. I click on images, search tools, size, and I'll say exactly, and I'll do 1200 by 400. Quick little search. And I've got all these different image pictures or pictures of a beach. So I'm gonna grab this one as my second picture. So view image. Now I have two pictures here. So let's go ahead and grab this link. Of course, in our project later, we'll uh, adjust this to being our own project pictures. But for now, to get it working, I like to have some test pictures. And hey, why not have something cool to look at like a beach? Um, all right, so paste that link in here. Grab the other one and paste that link right there. All right, so now we've got two images and this carousel. If I do a little refresh in here, uh, I see that it's working and then it says dot 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 here so that means inside of this carousel caption I can write paragraph text so hello world and I could do that on the bottom one too and you can also even do h1 stuff here right it doesn't have to be just paragraph you can use any sort of text here and you can also put a link in here as well right that's okay uh, we'll get to that later, we'll, like as far as linking stuff, but um, I do want to make a note of how these squares are being rendered. Now that's happening because of probably an outdated version of Bootstrap that we're working with. Uh, not probably, most definitely, that's what it is. So back in our base.html, if I scroll up, I see this, um, I got my bootstrap.min here. Uh, which is fine, but if we look down below it, which we commented out, it says 3.2, and going into Bootstrap's documentation, you, if you just scroll to the very bottom, it will show you what version it currently is, which is 3.3. Um, so for us, if we wanted to be on the most recent version, we would want to change these to 3.3. And what I'm probably going to do is actually uncomment these out, Oops, I want to get, get rid of that or leave that commented. So I'm going to remove this out of the comment area and also this one. All right. And then I'm going to comment these out with command sh uh, slash. I believe it's control slash on a Windows. Now, if I refresh in here, I see I've got these buttons in here. And the JavaScript part is actually still working, but if I scroll to the bottom of this, I have an issue because, well, it might come as an issue. So let's actually just change this to 3.3. And we refresh in here. Everything looks like 
roughly the same. I don't see any real changes here. Um, let's go ahead and close out our, our um, top bar uh, message, our mes marketing message. So I close that out and it looks like it's gone. It should be gone for the next few hours, uh, but everything else looks like it's working okay. Um, so now that I've got this stuff, um, I might want to actually remove where this carousel is going to be. I don't want it on every single page, so I don't want it in the base inside of base. But I can use block jumbotron because block jumbotron is a little block that we can replace stuff with. So for a home page, we're going to actually do that. We're going to use um, block jumbotron for that slider. And we've had block jumbotron before, but let's actually use it this time. So I'll do block jumbotron in block, paste this in here. Now if I refresh and I click on a product, or product, it won't show this jumbotron stuff coming through. Okay, so what we did was actually create this carousel and we also updated our JavaScript and Bootstrap stuff. So it's just really simple. Um, now, something you might note is like, well, what if I want a carousel that went all the way across? You could do that. So if we go back into our home, you would change container to container fluid. So this would mean that the container itself would be all the way across, as you see here. Um, but the image itself will not stretch, right? It's not going to automatically stretch the image to be there. So you'd have to get a bigger image that would actually fit with that carousel. The only reason it's loading right now is because it's actually downloading the image to make sure that that's working or can work. And it looks like it's having a little bit of, a little bit of trouble with that because uh, we want our image on our local server. So if I refresh, um, yeah, that one image is really just not coming through. That's this image right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the same image twice. Go back into our project so it loads there. All right, so it's got the same image twice. And notice that there is these indicators on the bottom, and there's three of them, yet there's only two slides. So if I get rid of one of these and refresh, now it only keeps two, and there we go. Okay, so... Now we've got that out of the way. We've got some carousels, and this this actual actually will change the size of the image itself. And another nice thing is it's responsive, so it will actually fit in with your browser window very well, uh, also. Uh, but do notice that the text is not going to be perfect, right? So if you intend on putting a lot of text there, uh, then you might want to rethink exactly how you're going to have this text. This text specifically, you can have text in the image, of course. But as it resizes, it's also going to resize. So keep that in mind as well. Um, and then one other thing is if we go to inspect element, I want to just see the just general margins around this. Um, so I'm going to go into the carousel first off the container. OK, that looks about right. And now the nav bar has this margin right above it. So if I actually wanted this carousel to be on the top, I could use a negative margin. So margin top being negative 10 pixels, uh, or let's see what it is exactly. It looks like the margin bottom. Okay, the margin bottom is 19 pixels, so we could use that here. Uh, oops, not 19, but margin top being negative 19, because that will give it nice and flush on the nav bar, which we might want as far as this goes. But then now the margin bottom, for this one specifically, we would do let's say 19 pixels, just like the nav bar would do. Um, so that's probably how we would want this nav or this uh, margin. And I'm putting it inside of this care, uh, the container just to ensure that it's not really messing with the margin. Uh, otherwise, it's just gonna be doing the container margin because the carousel itself inherits from them, uh, doesn't really have any margin around it as we see when we scroll over it. But the container does have margin, so we might as well just kind of do it there. So I'm going to add these two directly in the styles. So I refresh in here. So now it just kind of fits nice and up against the top bar here. Now something else to note is we don't have to have this being all the way across, right? So we could do div class equals to column small, let's say eight, and then column small offset four. And then scroll down a little bit, put another div at the end here do a refresh and now it's actually a little bit smaller, right? So if we wanted, for some reason, we want some other information here, this is where we would do it. 
Uh, this is how we would do it. It's really straightforward and easy to do because then we could have a full another side. So like even another navigation or something else on the side here. This is how it's for fairly simple and straightforward, but um, it is good to know that this is gonna this um, uh, the carousel itself will go into whichever container it's in. It will take up that container. So uh, that's something that's also very nice about it. I'm actually gonna get rid of what we just added because I don't I don't actually want that, but I did want to show you it. And then again, if you had a big enough picture, so if we go back into our search, let's just get a giant picture. I'll go in here and go large. And I'm just gonna get what, this picture right here. View image, this is a really big picture. So let's go ahead and copy this. And on the first one, I'm gonna go ahead and add this image in. And I'm gonna change this container to being container fluid. And if we refresh in here, notice that it's going all the way across. Um, there is a little bit of a margin on the sides. So if we go to inspect element, uh, let's actually see what that is. That's gonna be the padding inside of, of the container fluid. So if you see that green line, that's padding. Green stands for padding. And notice over here, we do see padding as well. So if I got rid of that padding, padding all around being zero pixels, I now have this really big carousel that I can work with um, uh, on, for any project, right? It just, I mean, it's gonna really depend on what you wanna do, but it can be impressive. You could obviously use this for other things. Like if you had a slideshow that you wanted to show a bunch of very big and nice pictures, this is how you could do it is using this carousel. It's, it's uh, fairly straightforward and very simple to do. Um, but of course, we're not gonna be using something that big. So I'm going to undo everything that I just did. But again, it was about showing you what you can do with this carousel uh, versus um, in any project, not necessarily just in the e-commerce one. Okay, so now we're going to stop here, and in the next one, we are going to be putting some sort of uh, model together that will handle these images and also that date and time stuff like what we've done before with that other marketing message. All right, so we'll see you in the next one.